Another example, more kind of geometry ones. A rectangular building lot is 8 feet longer than it is wide. It has an area of 29,000. Find the dimension of the lot. Again, we identify the question, find the dimensions, so we need to know width and length. And then we go back and read it and pull out all the information it tells us. The lot is 8 feet longer than it is wide. So if W is the width, then isn't the length going to be W plus 8? Right? It's 8 feet longer than it is wide. Now, if you had a, a hard time with this, and some of you might have thought, well, okay, so then doesn't that mean uh, W equals L plus 8? If you plug numbers in here, you'll see that it doesn't work. So let this be a 4. Then this ends up being 12. And you ask yourself, is it 8 feet longer than it's wide? Is the length longer than the width? And you go, no, that doesn't work. So it's got to be this one. All right? Um, Translating can be a tough skill, but if you write this, right, the length, right, is eight feet longer than the width. See how that works? Okay, has an area of 29,000. Well, what do we know area? Area is length times width. So 2,900 has to equal length times width. But we don't want an equation with two variables, so let's substitute. Equals w plus 8 times w, right? Because by substitution here, so 2900 equals w squared plus 8w. And again, you're seeing the squared and the linear term, so you're thinking, uh-oh, quadratic, set equal to 0 w squared plus 8w minus 2900. Solve your quadratic. <clears throat> All right, so here's my picture. Here's my length and my width. Translation, Translating things. Set it up this way. Subtract it. Set it equal to 0, just like we said. And then... Depending on you know how you how good you are at factoring, you can hopefully factor it. If you can't, you can use a quadratic formula. You come up with your two solutions of either 50 or negative 58. And it's pretty obvious it has to be 50 because you can't have a width of a negative number, right? That doesn't make sense. So sometimes you'll get an algebra, what we call an algebraic answer, that it works in the algebra of the question, but it's not a practical answer. It doesn't work in the context of the question, right? You can't have a width of a negative number. So you kind of toss that out as an impractical answer, and you go, all right, width has to be 50, which means length is 8 more, so length has to be positive 58. And it's just a coincidence that that was a positive 58 and the other one was a negative 58, okay?